Hello there, this is Vivi Cameron here, and today I'm just passing by to share a super easy and quick tip to do paper piecing. And we are going to be using press and seal that is a sticky plastic. And just to give you an example, I'm going to be using the Spellbinders small die of this month. That is this one here. It's absolutely beautiful, has any of the color blocks die set by Spellbinders. And I'm going to be listing those in the video description. So to do this, you are going to need different cast of colors and press and seal. And you are going to need to add press and seal at the back of your cardstock before die cutting it. This will keep all the die cuts in place and it's going to be easier for you to find them and to pick them up from that sticky film than if you have them flying over your table or in a small container. So the next thing you are going to do is to run this through the die cutting machine and as you can see here, all those die cuts are going to stay together and you can see here at the back that the die didn't went through the press and seal. So I repeat this with all the cardstock colors I have there because I want to make a multicolor composition. This piece here doesn't have press and seal and you will see there how all those pieces are falling apart. And I didn't notice until I was editing this video for my Instagram account, the time that it takes to do each thing. And when I wasn't using press and seal, it took me twice the time to do paper piecing. Okay, there is another tip I want to share with you to do paper piecing using this kind of die sets. And this is to emboss the paper using the die and embossing mat. And the embossed image is going to be a guide to glue the pieces over or to adhere the pieces with any adhesive you might like. After doing these two simple things, all you have to do is to enjoy paper piecing. You will find all the pieces attached to the press and seal and this will make things a lot easier and quicker. This was a super speedy video I shared on Instagram but I decided to share the video here as well because I had been receiving many many questions and it's like if I never share the video if I don't share it in YouTube. But please know that in Instagram I shared several quick videos in which you can see little tips or fast tips to do these kind of things. Please pay attention to that gold die cut there. I have to assemble the piece multiple times and try to find which piece is which piece. It was very, it was very time consuming. And when I was working with the die cuts that were attached to the present seal, it was like working with the stickers, easy and quick. There is another video I have in my YouTube channel as well. I show you how to do this using fabric and temporary spray adhesive. That's a very old video, but it's good to watch in case that you don't have access to press and seal. And maybe press and seal could be pricey for you so you can have a look at that other alternative. It also works like a charm. I was using it before using press and seal to do the same thing. But press and seal comes in a roll and in a box. I just put it underneath my desk and every time I need it, I just use it. And it becomes one of those tools that I need in my craft room. I use it very often to do paper piecing and I needed to stop by and share this with you today. So anyways, to finish these cards, I also use the Spellbinders Glimmer of this month and also some banner dies to be able to add those gorgeous hot foilet sentiments to my cards. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this speedy video. I know it was super speedy, but it gives you a very good idea about how to solve issues you might have doing paper piecing using this kind of dice or any other intricate die that you might have. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.